Films that matter. I can only speak as a filmmaker. I can also speak as an audience. As a filmmaker, I can tell you, you cannot intend to make a film that matters. You cannot plan to make a film that matters. Because as, a f as an audience, very often you see films and you think, oh, that must be a film that matters. And then you come out and it didn't matter. <laughs> and then you see films you have no idea what they're about and they, you come out and they matter a lot in your life. So you cannot plan a film that matters. But sometimes this miraculous thing happens that a film that is dear to somebody's heart, like the filmmaker, becomes dear to other people's heart and out of a sudden the fact that it matters appears as something that you do together, the audience as well as the filmmaker, and that you feel together. So I think the only thing that matters in these miraculous agglomerations of, of happiness and of meaning is that you touched on something that touched the audience and that the audience needed at that moment. And that is luckily something nobody can plan and no big studio can plan, luckily, because they would only make movies that matter. <laughs> and, <laughs> and they try. But it's a, it's a little miracle that a movie matters. And in, you can only say it in hindsight why it mattered, because it helped people to live better or to understand a little better how to live. And that becomes such a complex question these days, and more and more complex, that every now and then in a movie, for instance, the one that you quoted, you come out and you have the feeling that you understand life a little better and you see it with other eyes. Maybe it lasts only an hour. Sometimes it lasts much longer. And that is a movie that matters. If it stays with you and uh, Luckily, luckily, you cannot plan it. I tried to plan movies that matter. I didn't really, su really succeed. I made movies that I thought that I'm going to be bashed for, and they mattered. So you cannot plan it.